Hey guys, it's me Sylvia, back with another video. I bet you didn't recognize me with all this luscious hair. I know, I love it. I look so different, I don't even recognize myself. They're my Bellamy extensions, I'll leave the info in the description if you guys are interested. And today's video is a very highly requested video. It's kind of that makeup tag that's been going around where people are doing their makeup with products that they hate. Hurt, hurt, hurt. I'm putting hate in quotations because for me, it's products that I just really am not a fan of. I might not necessarily hate the products that I'm trying today, but they're the products that I rarely reach for because maybe I had a bad experience with one of them, maybe it just does not work out for my skin type, or I just don't like it. I'll be honest. Also, before we get started with the video, obviously I'm gonna leave you with a disclaimer that some of these products may not have worked for me, but don't be offended if you love one or more of these products and use them regularly because different products work for different people and what might not have worked for me might be somebody else's holy grail. Before we start the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I drop a new video every single Sunday and a bonus video throughout the week. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. The primer that I'm not a fan of is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. It's not that I necessarily hate this primer, it's just the one that I haven't touched compared to all the other ones like it's been in the back of my drawer haven't reached for it so this is me trying to like blend it it's very thick so it's hard for it to blend which is why it definitely won't work on deeper skin tone takes a while for it to get absorbed and it has full-on glitter in it it's almost like metallic because of the glitter that's inside of it and for a primer to be this thick and not like fill in the pores as much as like the professional or some other more silicone based like mattifying primers I just don't like it. Like, why is it so thick if it's not doing the things that a thicker primer would do? And it's just an uncomfortable feeling. Like, it makes your face feel heavier than it needs to. I'm gonna talk probably about a few MAC products that I dislike, and that's because since I worked for them, I really had a chance to try all of their products at a really reasonable price. So there are some that I may have bought just like to buy, and they did not work out at all, and I was crazy for even buying it. I just bought it because it was inexpensive, you know? Moving on to foundation, the foundation that I have probably used one time is the Studio Water Weight from MAC as well. This is meant to be a lightweight foundation. This color also does not work for me. I may have bought it when I was way Way more tan like in the summertime it feels way too greasy for my liking also because it is so like shiny and lightweight and luminous it does absolutely nothing for my acne it actually accentuates my acne which is why I would never reach for this foundation to be fair though this foundation is meant just to give you kind of like that second skin look so if you have very clear skin and you just want something that's gonna give you the tiniest bit of coverage even at your skin tone and just still look like you have nothing on then this might be nice for you but for my oily skin and my acne prone skin it is disgusting. It does nothing. Now for concealer, I really did not want to choose this guy. It's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer because so many people love this concealer, but it just does not work for me at all. I've tried to make it work many, many times. This concealer is like really tacky feeling. It's not a texture like I've ever really seen in a concealer and it just looks way too cakey. So you can see because it's like really tacky, it's really hard to blend out. And because it's so thick, it really has a tendency to crease, at least for me. I don't have an eyeshadow primer that I hate, so I'm just gonna apply this over top of my eyelids. I literally just finished blending it out and already it's creased so much to the point where it's like my eyes have never looked so aged. I'm gonna try and highlight the bridge on my nose like I normally would with a concealer on my nose it actually has accentuated the dry spot that I have the foundation actually like rubbed off on a lot of my nose already and I've had it on for like five minutes. So this translucent powder gives me nightmares because it gives the most horrendous flashback that I've ever seen in a translucent powder. The bad experience that I had with this is that when I worked at MAC, I used this on a girl when I was doing her makeup for prom. And obviously for prom, you're gonna take pictures, right? <laughs> So I used it on her. She took pictures. Obviously, she was upset when none of those pictures turned out okay. I'm also going to use a little bit of that to set the concealer that I put on my eyelid. Try and make it not crease, even though it's prone to creasing. Now, while that is setting on my under eye, I'm going to do my brows. And the product that I have not reached for in a long time, I probably used it twice, and that is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Pencil. It's got a really, really thick tip that is really round, so it's hard to like imitate little hairs like you normally would want to do for your brows. And on the other side, here it has like a cream that you're meant to use to kind of outline the bottom of your brow and highlight it's just not my favorite brow pencil so I'm gonna try and do my brows with it as best as I can it's so creamy that it does not really last a long time throughout the day for me as well I'll notice it like sweating off or smudging like I can't create a nice arch because it's just too thick for me to do anything with like I can't even see what I'm doing under there there we go not terrible but 
I honestly have a really hard time doing my brows with that. So they look a little bit uneven. They're a little bit darker than I wanted them. Now I'm gonna dust off that translucent powder. It just gives you like an ashy residue that's kind of left over, like it never fully goes away. And it also doesn't help to brighten. It just like makes you look powdery and dead. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys that even when you dust the powder off, if you do a flash picture, it's gonna show in the picture and it's really not cute. This was me with the powder on. And then this is when I dusted the powder off and still took a flash photo 10 out of 10 do not recommend moving on to eyeshadow I have another Mac product so this is called a harvest of greens it's a mineralized eyeshadow quad there's four colors in here it looks really pretty on the finger but as soon as I go to swatch it on my arm it literally loses like 90% of the pigment I'm gonna do it again for the green so I'm gonna try really hard to make this work. I'm just gonna go in with this olive color in the corner right here, and I'm gonna apply that as my crease shade. And right off the bat, where is it? You know, like it's not, it's barely coming off my brush, barely giving me any color on my lid. There's so many affordable eyeshadows that will give you so much more pigmentation. Just to give you guys a comparison of what an eyeshadow should be swatching like on your arm and your lid, I'm gonna show you an affordable eyeshadow, which is the ColourPop Press Shadows, one swatch. Like that's what it should be coming out like. Now I'm gonna use this shade right here just in the inner corner and my brow bone. And again, it's like, where is the pigmentation? I think I'm getting like a couple sparkles out of it. I'm gonna try applying this green shade with my finger and hope that maybe that'll help to press the product on. I'm really trying to make it work here. That is a lot better, but still like for what you're paying for it, it should be way better than this. I'm gonna try and apply it in my lower lash line. Like that looks horrid. I'm <laughs> so, ew, I'm cringing. It does not look good at all. I'm gonna try and swipe away the fallout. Of course, it's just sticking to the concealer. <laughs> <laughs> and the eyeliner that I am not a fan of is the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. So it's meant to be like a gel liner that comes out of like this rubbery end here, which is a cool idea, but I just find that I can never get a sharp enough line with the tip. Like if I were to use this, I would try and like get out the gel from it and use an actual eyeliner brush. This tip here is just so flimsy and rubbery that you can't really maneuver it properly to give you a nice wing. God, it's just so hard to use. Mine's like really dry because I haven't used in so long oh my god I mean they're a little bit uneven but I'm actually really impressed that I still was able to do a wing it's a little bit thicker than I normally would make it and that's just because with this tip it's kind of hard to do a thin line but I made it work I think look at my hand after trying to make that eyeliner work I'll give it one thing though it actually is really long wearing it's really hard to come off now for mascara I'm gonna use the covergirl super sizer fibers and just by seeing the applicator on this alone I can tell it's not a mascara I would normally reach for. It gets really clumpy really easily. It'll also often smudge up on my brow bone and with my concealer on the bottom here. So by the end of the day, it really rubs around everywhere and it's like a hot mess. Now for lashes that I really am not a fan of are the Hypnotize number 31 from the Sephora collection. The Sephora collection actually has some really nice lashes, but these ones in particular are so dense and like thick they're really uncomfortable and they just do not go well with my eye shape because I have such small eyes. So I'm gonna apply these with the glue that it comes with, which I'm also not a fan of. It takes forever to dry up. So I'm gonna quickly apply this and be right back. So lashes are on and I feel a little bit ridiculous. Like I told you guys, look how ginormous they are for my eye shape. They just don't work for me at all. Like I love me some dramatic lashes, but not this dramatic. For bronzer, something that has not worked for me is the Becca Shadow and Light Bronze Slash Contour Perfector. So it has like a contour shade and a bronzing shade in one little palette here. It just is a little bit too like muddy for me. It honestly is not terrible. I just didn't really have like one that I absolutely hated. This is just the one that I never really reached for. Honestly, nothing mixes well with that foundation. You can see how splotchy the bronzer is going on. So next I'm applying blush. <laughs> I never use this blush. This one is called Let's Be Friends by MAC. MAC has some amazing blushes. They have really great formula, but the reason that I never use this one is because it's a super bright pink, obviously, and this does not work for my skin tone. It just looks crazy. I've used it a couple times for like an eyeshadow, which it works fine for, but for blush, I'll just never use this as a blush. I'm literally going like this, and it's still giving me so much bright pinkness. So. Obviously you can tell why I don't wear this one. It's just way too bright. Now for a highlighter that I don't normally use, it's the Moonlight Pearls by e.l.f. Like you can see, even when I try and swatch it here, like nothing comes off on my finger. It's really hard. I don't know why it's like so hard. It doesn't even feel like a powder. I'm like pushing so hard and I'm still barely getting like any product 
to give me a decent highlight. So it's just not really what I would reach for. There we go, it's not bad, it just doesn't give me what I want a highlighter. Now for a lipstick that I'm really not fond of, I'm using the Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick from MAC. It's called High Drama. When applying it, you have to be very careful and apply quickly because it dries very fast. And if you're applying more liquid product on top of it when it dries, it just gets really cracked and like patchy and not cute at all. And so I'm gonna apply it, kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. I really should try the new shades they came out with to see if they change their formula because they have some great colors. This is a beautiful shade. It's just not a great formula for me. So there we go, the lipstick is on. It's just super, super dry. I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see how dried out it actually makes your lips look. This just does not wear well at all. Like in a couple hours, it's gonna start to get crusty. You're gonna get the butthole lips when it just completely disintegrates in the center of your lips. It's gonna start to flake off and it just it just isn't as great as a formula as some of the other liquid lipsticks that I have. So this concludes the look I did with makeup products that I really dislike. To kind of recap on the stuff that I really hate the most about this look, I would say my skin looks terrible. The foundation did not work out for me. It did not do anything for my acne. It actually feels really greasy. I wanna just wash my face. My face feels so dirty. Huge thing that I really dislike is the powder under my eye because it gives such big flashbacks. These lashes are just far too dramatic and huge for my eye shape and this lipstick I applied it like three minutes ago and already it's like crusting off on the inside here and getting really flaky I feel like everything else I can kind of live with and make it work they're just the stuff that I really have not reached for in a while we know down below what product you may have purchased that really disappointed you and you don't like because just as much as we like to learn from the stuff that works for us it's nice to know you know what didn't work I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to watch another one of my videos just click the box down below and of course subscribe to my channel by clicking my face in the corner of the screen and let's be friends on my other socials all my social handles are at sylvia ganny on the side of the screen right over here i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye mm -hmm. bye